Stuff gets nuts. That's all I got. I absolutely loved this movie. I thought it was so good and it's not getting very good reviews, which I'm really disappointed about. The critics are giving it bad reviews because they're upset that it's not funnier because of the cast. So like Tina Fey and Jason Bateman and Adam Driver and Jane Fonda and all these really funny people. But the critics are mad because it wasn't funnier. It was never marketed as a comedy, guys. Come on, dramedy. Get your act together. Also, that's not how you critique a movie, FYI. Take some uh, pointers from old Frey over here. This movie is based on a book of the same name and you guessed it, I read that book. How did you know? I thought the movie was a lot better than the book, weirdly enough. I really enjoyed the book, but I found the book to be like kind of unrelatable. I don't know, I don't know why it was, but maybe it's because the characters were like clearly older than me, I'm not really sure. But the movie was so much better. I mean, the book was great in its own right, but the movie was just so good, I really enjoyed it. And it was written by the same guy. The guy that wrote the book wrote the screenplay. So what'd you do there, Jonathan Trapper? What was your, uh, what was your plan? Not really sure. But my uh, friend made a good point where she said that sometimes, you know, that book's a little old. It's not super old, but it's been a few years. And sometimes people write stuff and then they decide that maybe it wasn't the best idea. But what's done is done, you know? So it all worked out, I guess. Uh, the characters in the movie were far more redeemable and relatable than in the book, which is, I think, why I liked it so much. I just thought it was maybe seeing it on screen made it easier to understand, but like everyone's family is dysfunctional. If you have a perfect family, you're just freaking lying. Some differences between the book and the movie, if you're wondering, uh, that last names are different in the book. They're Foxman is their last name, and the movie Altman is their last name. I don't really understand why they changed that tiny, minuscule little detail, but they did. I don't know. The guy that wrote the book wrote the movie. I, I don't get that, but whatever. Uh, also, one thing they left out of the movie that was in the book, which I think was a really good idea on the screenwriter's part, was they left out the, the storyline in the book where the oldest brother, Paul, he is like a baseball star, and Judd, the kind of like protagonist of the book and the film, he goes to like fight someone and Paul like comes to his rescue, but in the process gets attacked by a dog and thus ending his baseball career. So in the book, Paul pretty much like resents Judd for that. Also, Judd dated Paul's wife when they were in like middle school. <laughs> that is so awkward. I like that detail, I thought that was good. In the book, Paul just resents Judd constantly and hates him so much. I'm really glad they left that out of the movie because I think that's just like way too much character development. I don't know, it works for a book, not really for a movie. I think that's really unrealistic. I can't relate to that because I wasn't a baseball star. Number one, also I'm not a man, and I have sisters, not brothers. So really I can't relate to this almost at all. I don't, I, I just can't imagine resenting your own sibling for that long for something that was out of his control. Like, maybe it's a boy thing, I don't know. They changed nothing other than like leaving some things out and some really minor details like the last name. They, they changed all, uh, nothing from the storyline from what I could tell. They really didn't. I love when they do that. Thank you. But yeah, they really, I think that they did an incredible job of portraying this film. I thought it was a wonderful book to screen adaptation. I thought it was so good and so true to the book, you know, with the exception of all that. The casting was incredible, and despite maybe, I'm sorry that like, that's, the way I see it, the critics are like, it's like they saw Stranger Than Fiction with Will Ferrell and were like pissed off that it wasn't like Talladega Nights. Just because it's a comedian cast in a dramatic role doesn't mean you're gonna get like an SNL sketch out of it. Ugh, your expectations were way too high. I went in with my expectations very low, thanks to you critics, and came out on the higher end. So I'm actually pretty pleased. Whatever way you look at it, that was all right, I guess. Good. Loved it! This movie is very similar to another wonderful movie that I love called The Family Stone. People hate that movie. People hate on it. I don't get it. I love The Family Stone. It's seriously one of my favorite movies ever. When Christmas time comes around, I watch it like 800 times in a row. It, with the addition of Just Friends, my favorite movie, but that's for another day. Um, so out of all the book adaptations, book to screen adaptations I've seen this year, 
and there's more because Gone Girl's coming up. <laughs> Get excited. Uh, I would definitely put it put it up there. I think that it's probably, honestly, it's on par with The Fault in Our Stars. I think that The Fault in Our Stars was a brilliant adaptation. They changed really small details in that movie as well, and I think that this is quite on par with that. If I Stay is still... Hold down. But uh, we still got more this year, guys, so stay tuned.